My name is Katarina Roxon. I am a four-time Paralympic swimmer and two-time Paralympic medalist. Uh, growing up in Kivens in Newfoundland, it's a very small town, but when you really need it, the community comes together and supports you. And I've had that, oh my gosh, basically my entire life. It's right next to the ocean, surrounded by the ocean, which I truly love. And it's home. I've always been a competitive person and I think being born with one arm, I've always had that competitive drive in myself and I always like to prove people wrong, especially because at a young age, people always question whether you were able to do different tasks and whatnot. So I think it stems from that. So even like the simplest thing was learning to tie my shoe. And my parents are amazing and they always gave me opportunities to try things on my own and pushed me to be better and more independent for myself starting at such a young age and that um, definitely transferred over into sport you know my dad has been my coach for the longest time my mom has also coached me my sister has also coached me so it's a it's a huge family affair right there that we've all been involved in sport and they've all all supported me so my dad and i are very similar <laughs> and he knows when he needs to push me he knows when he needs to back off in training and it's it's such a great formula for me to be able to achieve everything that I want to achieve in the pool and out of the pool we make it work we have so much fun as well so growing up I was the only one out of my friends group that actually stuck with sport all through high school and obviously till now. It's such an amazing opportunity. I think a lot of times when people go into high school, um, there's different pressures added to them and it's about finding a balance that's good for you and being true to yourself and pushing yourself to be the best person that you can possibly be. Obviously I was born missing my arm and I am so grateful for it and I would never ever change that for anything. It's given me so many, many opportunities for myself and for other people to be role models. And like I said before, I, I'm a person who loves to challenge themselves and when someone says I can't do something, I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna prove them wrong. The Tokyo 2020 games, um, which happened in 2021, they did not go to plan for me and coming off of Rio 2016, Paralympic Games off a gold medal. Obviously I had expectations for myself and COVID came in and just derailed basically everybody's plans. It definitely challenged us um, in the pool, out of the pool, mentally, physically, emotionally, but with closures, I never really got to train properly for those two years. And those two years really, it took a hit to my, uh, my performance in Tokyo and it was not a great feeling coming out of Tokyo. Yes, I won a bronze medal with my amazing relay team, but I truly did not know if I wanted to swim anymore. I was at that mental space in my head where I was, I don't want to do this. Um, I'm not happy with it anymore. I was obviously coming off such a low point from Tokyo that I really needed some time off. And I took, I took about five months off of swimming and Honestly, it was probably the best decision I had ever, ever made. That space away from the pool really, really changed me and gave me an appreciation for the sport and it gave me the love of the sport back. It was only till the end of January of 2022 that I, I was itching, itching to come back to the pool. And I knew I wasn't done with the sport. I knew that there was still more that Katarina had to do. With such a short time period of training, I went to world championships, came home with a Canadian record and a bronze medal, and I was absolutely thrilled. Using my platform for inclusion is so important to me because I know growing up, I had, I faced a few challenges for the most part, everyone was absolutely amazing for including me, but I know there were times that I was excluded because I have a disability. It's not a great feeling. And I think a lot of times it takes just one person to tell them that, you know, you're worthy for this and 
Don't let anybody or anything stop you from chasing your dreams. Getting my own highway named after me was a pretty amazing and memorable moment. It was amazing that my province saw that and recognized me for that achievement. I'm hoping that it'll be kind of a sign to other kids, especially girls, especially people with physical impairments to know that anything is possible and that you have a lot of people who will support you no matter what. I want to say one of the proudest moments was standing on the very top of that podium, having my medal around my neck and singing the national anthem. It wasn't about me in that moment. It was everyone who had supported me along that journey, who was supporting me in that moment, who had gone over and beyond anything for me. And it was, it was a community. So we're all equal in the pool. That quote, um, honestly, as Paralympians, people with physical impairments, cognitive impairments, visual impairments, when we're in the water, we don't feel that we're different and we don't see that we're different. We're just swimmers. We've come together to compete. And end of the day, we all just wanna be the best that we can be and be the best for our country and our families. And we may look different, but we're just like everybody else. I would have to go with chocolate, probably a Kit Kat. I like everything, so if you give me candy, I will, I will for sure eat it but probably Kit Kats are my favorite. <laughs> my favorite hobby outside of swimming would probably be hiking. I am planning to go to the Grossmore National Park in Newfoundland. I've seen so many pictures and it looks absolutely incredible. If it's a very good movie, I'll definitely rewatch it, but my absolute favorite movie is Deadpool. My absolute favorite artist would be Lindsay Sterling. She's a violinist absolute top tier. My favorite thing about Newfoundland and Labrador is actually the people. No matter where you go, no matter who you meet, they are incredible to you and they will always give you a helping hand. Mm -hmm.